This is Off Planet Radio. Hey everybody, welcome back to Off Planet Radio, Off Planet TV. I'm Emily Moyer. Randy is off tonight. Um, he is a little bit under the weather, so we wish him well. And I we have a great show for you tonight, one we haven't done in a while with a, a favorite returning guest. It's uh, that time of year where everybody, I think, has had colds and it's been kind of a rough bump over the new year. So we thought it was time to do a healing show and there's no one better to do it with than our, our fine friend. So here to... Uh, Bless everybody with some healing and to discuss the wild, the weird, and the what the fuck of the energetic realms. Chris Kaler, welcome back to Off Planet Radio. Emily, uh, Randy's not here, so I guess we can talk about him behind his back, eh? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right? Nice to see you again, dear. Nice to see you, too. How you doing? How's everything going? Absolutely perfect. Uh, the, the healing world, the healing realm is being very nice to us right now. Source has given us lots of gifts. Uh, it's not doing anything for the weather in Winnipeg, mind you, but that's okay. We can deal with it. Yes. Chris just informed me that it's a negative 35 Celsius where he is, but that negative for 35 Celsius is, Celsius is the same as negative, sorry, negative 40 Celsius is the same as negative 40 Fahrenheit. And I did not know that. So you have graced me with a, a fact I did not know today. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, yeah, it's cold there. And um, I was going to complain that it's been cold here, but it's 67 today, so I'm not going to say much. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get into the healing in the first hour. We're going to do that. We have some uh, great, some of our wonderful patrons who are reaping the rewards by getting some healings from Chris, and we're going to do a little group healing first, then we'll go into the individual healings, and then in the patrons hour, Chris and I will get into the, the super weird stuff. So here we go, Chris. Let's do a, an on-air group healing on Off Planet Radio for the first time. Let's do it. Okay, so, so the way this is going to work is I'm going to ask Source what, what needs to be done for the four of you, just, just the four of you, not for humanity. And we're going to get some, some, uh, uh, some, some uh, uh, thoughts in, into what's going on within you energetically that we need to, to clear and connect so that Source has a better look what's going on within all of us so we can get some healing done. So to do that, we're going to go to my to-do chart. So I'm going to give you a quick look. These are my charts. And what we're doing here is we're, we're doing good demos on true quantum healing so people can see exactly how it works so that you can get an interest in it and possibly say, hey, I want to do that. I want to be like Chris Kaler. Then you got to shave your head, but it's all good. Okay. <laughs> what is the first thing we need to do for Judy, Joe, Donna, and Shannon, please? First thing to do. First thing to do for the group. That's what I tell everybody who signs up. I says, well, first you got to shave your head. And <laughs> he actually has yet, but. Ah, well, nobody, nobody's could have quite the shine that yours has, you know? So the first thing we're going to do, okay, let's put the microphone, uh, put this back. So what we're going to do first is we're going to disconnect everybody fr from the evil. We're going to disconnect everybody from somebody called Baphomet and the universe of sacrifice. Because ultimately we've all been sacrificed in one way, shape or form to this, this demon who loves to take our energy. This is a reptilian god. So we're going to take this lovely device called the Vesica Pisces, hold it up to the camera and just do that. And everybody should feel a nice shift of energy, nice subtle shift, maybe some more tingling, feeling of lightness or something like that. Nobody's head's going to spin around and puke out green stuff. That's for the movies. All right. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Now within Judy, Joe, Donna, and Shannon within their soul self, sacred heart, and entire body, any and all connections to Baphomet and the universe of sacrifice, false. Quanta, please disconnect and remove Judy, Joe, Donna, and Shannon. Let's also add Emily. Disconnect from Baphomet and the demon, or sorry, the universe of sacrifice. Disconnect from Baphomet and the universe of sacrifice. And then, of course, anybody who's watching, join in. Why not join in? 
the connection between everyone and Baphomet and the universe of sacrifice falls. Disconnect from Baphomet and the universe of sacrifice. Okay, so that energy is moving. Anybody feel a little tingle or, or something moving? Mm -hmm. I do. <laughs> good, good stuff. Okay. Yes. Now we're going to go a little further with that one. There's a whole thing to go along with that one. Any and all commitments, vows, and covenants between Judy, Joe, Donna, Shannon, Emily, and Baphomet, false. All commitments, all vows, all covenants with Baphomet, false. Because we all made a commitment coming into this world as a human to sacrifice to Baphomet. Any and all commitments, vows, and covenants, false. Denounce all commitments, vows, and covenants. Here we go, that's working. Denounce all commitments, vows, and covenants with Baphomet. Okay, those commitments are now lifting. Let's go a little further. Within everyone's soul self, sacred heart, entire physical body, all sacrificial rituals, false. Quanta, please completely stop all sacrificial rituals. Sacrificial rituals, false. Any and all sacrificial rituals, false. Sacrificial rituals, false. And this is kind of the clearing of the week. We call it the pre-clearing. We're doing this for everyone, and it's really opening the doors to get in and find all of the problems. Mm -hmm. All sacrificial rituals, false. Okay, this is working really hard on everybody. Somebody's got some bad juju. Sacrificial rituals, false. Completely lift all sacrificial rituals. Sacrificial rituals, false. Sacrificial rituals are starting to leave. Okay, beautiful. Those rituals are now lifted. Who's feeling a little lighter? Mm. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. Can I ask a question, Chris, real quick? You said something about we all made a commitment to Baphomet on the way in here. Can you explain that? Why would we do that? No, I can't explain that because I don't really know much about it. All I know is ah. that there is a something that we, we sacrificed something to be here. Okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. The this is a reptilian planet. This is a dark energy planet. So in order to be here, well, you got to pay something to get in. Okay. Something. Agree to something, sacrifice something. Okay. That's I understand. About, that's about the best I can describe it. But okay. it's one of those lines, okay? Mm -hmm. and we're learning every day. We're learning more about it. We're learning the history of the beginning. We're learning the history of the reptilians and us and, and how it all correlates into a health problem and a, a, a universe problem. Okay. So now any and all manifestations, of sacrificial rituals, false. Manifestations of sacrificial rituals, false. All manifestations dissolve all of the manifestations. Manifestations of sacrificial rituals, false. Manifestations of sacrificial rituals, false. Beautiful. There we go. Now, within everyone, all trauma, sacrificial ritual, trauma, false. Within the soul self, sacred heart, entire body and entire being, sacrificial ritual, trauma, false. Lift the trauma. Completely lift the trauma. Trauma is now lifted. Now let's go in and add some love into the soul self, sacred heart, and entire body, entire being. Pure source love, true. 
source love true all you need is love baby here we go pure source love true love true now that basically takes everyone out of that sacrificial energy we're no more involved with with uh, providing for Baphomet whatever he wants or uses or needs okay so let's see if there's anything else we need to do with that okay what clearing is next for the group please okay so we're going to leave that right there i want to get right into doing one-on-ones all right Who's yeah. the first lucky contestant? Very good, thank you. And first up on the Price is Right, Donna Spicer, come on down. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean to say your last name. Whoops, sorry. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> Cancel, clear, delete. It's not Spicer, it's Smith, okay? Yeah, yep, yep. Donna, how can we help you today, dear? Okay, um, quickly, my knees seem to hurt at the weirdest times and in the weirdest ways. The bottom of my feet hurt only at night. And I think there might be something wrong with my thyroid because no matter what I do, I can't lose any weight. And that's enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, so basically, I mean, what you've described to me is, is something that's kind of within everybody's wheelhouse is, is, is thyroid, yes, joint pain, yes, all different kinds of things like that. Everybody should know that everything, every single health problem that's going on with any human on this planet is to lower your vibration to distract you from ascending. That's the premise of everything going on right now on this planet is to stop us from ascending. We're all right now. I have people ask me, why am I here? What's my purpose? It says your purpose is to ascend. And boom, the reptilians, they do not want this to happen. There goes their meal ticket. There goes their power over us, etc. So let's have a look at Donna, Donna Smith. Okay, what question is optimal, please, for Donna? What question is optimal? When you're dowsing, you ask the right question, you get the right answer. What question is optimal, please, for Donna? You know, weight loss is, is very much a question I get quite often. There's so much to do going on with, with our bodies and, and the, the survival mode, the emotions, everything, the hormones going on. And of course, you look in the mirror, what does it do? It distracts you. What question is optimal, please, for Donna? So we're going to ask, where is the most congestion in Donna's body? Have you had any diagnosis at all about your knees? Um. One lady told me that it's associated with the liver. Where is the most congestion? Okay. What we're going to do is ask what is causing congestion, please, in Donna's knees. And it's always the left and right at the same time? Um, when I'm doing yoga, yeah, it could be. Okay. What type of yoga do you do, dear? Right now, I'm only doing yin yoga. What is causing congestion in the knees? Just bear with me one minute. We need the right answer. Close only counts in horseshoes, hand grenades, and global thermal nuclear war. <laughs> What is causing congestion in the knees? Okay, we're getting an answer here. That wants to move. Okay, here we go. So do you feel any sensations in your knees right now? Is there any discomfort? No. So, so it comes and goes. You said mostly yeah. when you do yoga? I'm sorry? You said mostly when you're doing yoga? Yeah, and then at other weird times, too. Okay. There we go. Okay, what is causing congestion in the knees? Now we're getting an answer. Sometimes pulling the right information from the client really helps to, to get to the problem. I remember working on somebody in Australia. She says, can you help me with my back? It's so sorry I can't get out of bed. We helped her with her back, and then she says, when are you going to find the cancer? And I says, you didn't tell me you have cancer. 
<laughs> so, so it's very much, uh, you know, working together on, on, on stuff like this. Okay, now, what is causing congestion in the knees? And because it's not, you know, ongoing, it's only here and there now and then, it tells me it's definitely some kind of energy. It's a matter of what kind of energy. When you're working like this, the closer that you can get to, um, to what it is, calling it out, the universal law says, you know, if you, if you find something and you, you call it, it has to leave. Okay, now what I'm seeing here is the word haunting. So there is some kind of haunting going on. So now I'm going to talk to source. We're going to use a letter chart and talk to source and ask what problem within Donna, please. What is the problem? Problem is true. Okay, there are some spirits within, some, some disincarnate spirits within your soul self. So let's lift off those guys. We're going to, we're going to take any spirits that are within your soul self and send them into source them at the sanctuary and you're going to tell me if you feel a little lighter some tingling or warmth okay okay, okay here we go with Indana's soul self release all disincarnate spirits into source Indana's soul self disincarnate spirits source true quanta please guide all disincarnate spirits within the soul self into source please Donna, soul, self, disincarnate, spirits, false. Just by using the words true and false, it activates things and it makes them very absolute. That's why we call it true quantum healing. Within Donna's soul, self, disincarnate, spirits, leave into sanctuary. Quite a few of them there, dear. Quite a few disincarnate spirits leave now into sanctuary, leave into source. Okay, there they go. How was that feeling, my dear? I think I'm feeling something like in my heart area here, so and some heat. Okay, now we're going to do this from Donna's sacred heart. All disincarnate spirits. Leave now into source. Disincarnate spirits, false. Quanta, please release all disincarnate spirits into source. Beautiful. There they go. Now, Donna's soul self and sacred heart, true, source, true. So what that does is it validates it into source now recognized by source. Donna's soul, self, and sacred heart, true, source, true. True, source, true. Beautiful. How is that feeling now, my dear? Um, that energy that I was feeling seems to have, like, really lowered. Um, I'm not really good with describing these things. That, that, that's quite all right. You're feeling some movement. That, what, what I want to hear is that you're feeling some movement. Something is happening. So now we're going to give you a little gift here. Okay, the connection between Donna's sacred heart and soul self, true. Connect Donna's sacred heart and soul self, please. Connection between the sacred heart and soul self, true. Sacred heart and soul self, true. So those two are connected. That's going to make you feel a little lighter, a bit more love and joy coming in. Now we're going to ask directly about your knees. All right, what is the problem within Donna's knees, please? As soon as you clear away the, uh, the energetic stressors, then the physical problem tends to show itself. The problem is true. Okay, there's a vortex, vortex of oscillation of, okay, yeah. 
Okay, there are some witchcraft spells. Witchcraft spells within. Okay, now lift any and all witchcraft spells. Quanta, please lift the vortex of witchcraft spells from Donna's entire body, from the knees, the thyroid, Donna's entire body, vortex of witchcraft spells, false. Vortex of witchcraft spells within and around Donna's entire body, entire being, false. Vortex of witchcraft spells, false. Beautiful. That's how easy it is to lift a witchcraft spell. Simple as that. You don't need to climb Mount Everest five times, bathe in Mount Titicaca, and, and then rub yourself with honey. You don't have to do that. Just by identifying it, using the sacred geometry, telling it to go away, it goes away. Okay, how is that feeling now, my dear? Oh, I feel really calm, uh, calmer than when we started. Beautiful. That's very common. People feel calm, relaxed. Something has been taken off of you. Now your body says, oh, I can breathe now. All this stuff is gone. Okay, so what we're going to do now, into Donna's knees, a vortex of quanta true. Vortex of quanta. Now, quanta is the energy that exists outside this universe in the ninth octave. And that's what we harness. That's what we use to do the work. And Donna's knees, a vortex of quanta true. Vortex of quanta true. Now within Donna's knees, Donna's left and right knee, true source, true. True source, true. Remove any and all inflammation, chronic inflammation. Within Donna's knees, chronic inflammation, false. Beautiful. So what that's going to do for you, dear, is you're going to notice that next time you're doing some activity and your knees normally hurt, they're not going to be so bad. Okay, if we had a full session, we can go a lot further and, and find a lot more things to clear out and move. But this is the, the problem that you, you came forward with. This is definitely going to show you some kind of relief for sure. Thank you. Cool. Yeah, and, and again, because the knee problem is, is very here and there, now and then, definitely some kind of energy. Witchcraft spells, absolutely. I remove those like crazy from people every day. Is there any way to know where they come from? Uh, there, there is, but ultimately, if somebody's sending you a witchcraft spell, the camera's crazy here, somebody's sending you a witchcraft spell, you're, he you're here, the person is here, there's an ultimately an, an energy source that, that it's going through, so it's a triangle of the spell. Boy, I can't handle this camera with Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if somebody sends it to you, some, and that witchcraft spell, spell could be as easy as somebody thinking negatively about you. To somebody that doesn't like you at work, people talk behind your back, it creates that snowball effect of negative energy. And then somebody grabs onto that and says, oh, I can take care of that. They grab that energy and boom, they make it happen. They make something uh, bad happen in your body. I see it all the time. It's very common. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Th thank you, Donna. And that was kind of interesting, Chris, because I, you know, I always just kind of, I'm very sensitive and I always kind of just sit back and close my eyes and feel what I feel when you're doing these treatments and other people. And so it was interesting. I, before she said it, I felt the vibration in the heart. And then when she said she was calm, I had felt very calm as well, too. So it's kind of interesting that I was feeling exactly what she was feeling. Yeah, everybody will be getting, if you're, anybody who's watching, you'll be getting something of it, okay? Yeah. Uh, by the time we get to Judy, she might say, I don't need you anymore because we're all good. <laughs> okay. when, I, when I do video updates and I run energy to, to do a clearing, that energy is there all the time. It's there forever. That energy yeah. never leaves. That's how, that's how powerful this is. Yeah. All right, thank you very much, Donna. And we will move on next to Joe. Joe, welcome to Off Planet Radio. Hey, good to be back. Yeah. Mr. Joe, what can we do for you today, my friend? So I have had a chronic lower left side back pain for, for a long time, let's just say that. Oh, I was hoping somebody would have this today because this is my issue right now. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> so so does it, does Joe. I feel like she put you in more ways than one. There you go. Yeah. Does anything relieve that lower back pain? I'm sorry? Does anything relieve it for you? Yeah, no, it's, it's a lot better, um, but it's still there. It's definitely not as bad as it used to be. I've been doing a lot of yoga the last year, 
And that's helped a lot. And it's Kundalini yoga. So there's a lot of, we do the exercises to get to a meditative state. So there's a lot of meditation. Um, so meditation has helped a lot, um, but it's still there. It's just kind of one of those things that this is why when this opportunity came up, I kind of jumped on it because I really wanted to explore. Um, Certainly go in there and have a look. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a statement here. And Joe, you might get mad at me and leave. Uh, a lot of people don't like to hear this, but the Kundalini is a reptilian thing. Okay. Mm. The, the Kundalini, when you, that's activated, that connects you to that uh, reptilian circulating, soul circulating thing they do. Okay. What, what I do for people is if the Kundalini is activated, I shut it off and activate the Merkaba. The Merkaba is a source vehicle. Kundalini is a reptilian vehicle. If, if that's what you practice, I'm not going to tell you to stop. Uh, I'm, if you're, if you're a practicing Catholic, I'm not going to tell you to stop unless you're into pedophilia. But ultimately, um, uh, certain things that we believed were, are good for us for so long uh, are turning out to be all reptilian and Luciferian trickery, okay? And there's so many more things than just that. And, and I do upset some people when I tell them, hey, you know what? The Arcturians are not here to help us. And they say, well, I work with them every day. I says, well, you fire those bastards because they're not doing you any good. Okay. So there we go. Okay. So that's basically the left back. You said lower left. Lower left. Yeah. Just kind of back here in general. Okay. Let's see. Now, what, what problem do we need to work on with him, Joe? What problem? Problem is, okay, let's see. Okay, now we're going to go to your higher soul self. Okay, what we're going to do for you, Joe, is we're going to take your higher self, your higher soul self, and replace your soul self with it. So we're going to take your soul, move it over, and bring in your higher soul self. This is an ascension thing. So by practicing kundalini yoga, you want to ascend. You want to get those higher levels of consciousness. We're going to help you out with that, okay? Awesome. Okay, now let's uh, move Joe's soul self to the side and bring in Joe's higher soul self. Joe's higher soul self, true. Higher soul self, true. By just by saying the word true, that validates it, brings it in, and activates it. Joe's higher soul self, true. Higher soul self, true. Bring in Joe's higher soul self. Okay, that is now in play. So a lot of people call it the higher self. I call it the higher soul self because it is a soul mechanism. All right, so are you feeling some movement there, my friend? uh my pulse i can feel like my temples pulsing um uh, just body in general i can feel like a stronger sense of pulse beautiful beautiful okay what problem now within joe please is okay so there's a spasm spasm from mm -hmm. low it is Spasm from, from one second, one second, okay. Is Joe is now within source. Okay, good, good, good. And the spasm is from from Mm-hmm. Okay. Any and all demonic source spasm within the lower left back false. Any and all forms of demonic source spasm in the lower left back false. Any and all spasm caused by a demonic force, false. Joe's lower left back muscles, spasm, false. All spasm, false. Spasm, false. Completely lift all spasm from the lower left back muscles. 
the lower left back muscles, all spasm falls. A lot of movement here, ton of movement here. Release all spasm. Relax the muscles. Release the muscles of all spasm. And that is one nagging backache that distracts you every day. Every day you wake up, oh, my back hurts, my back hurts. And that's just distraction. Spasm false. Muscle spasm false. Muscle spasm false. Wow, that's a big one, Joe. That's a big one. Oh, here we go. How's that feeling now? Get a, a flood yeah. Down there? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, now let's there. go back to those muscles. Within the muscles, all muscles true. Lower back muscles true. Source true. Lower back muscles true. Source true. Boom. How's that feeling now, my friend? Yeah, I can feel um, the like the the flow of energy is a lot smoother there, and I can actually feel it in my upper thigh right now, like just like a like a wave coming into that area. Perfect, absolutely this perfect. Like, Emily, like that. that. Yeah, <laughs> it actually did. Like, I mean, I, I I've been having pain in that area, and I've been trying. I've been going back and forth on whether this is something structural or kidney or whatever, and yeah, no, like I was having pain five minutes ago and right now I'm not having pain. So I, I the, the lower back, the knees, the neck, the shoulders, those are all big areas of contingency for, for the dark forces. That's where they like to, to, to distract you. That's where they like to, to get in and know that they can cause a problem there. And everybody's going to be hunched over looking down at their shoes. Everybody's going to be walking like this, having a hard time getting out of bed and doing things. Okay. It's going to keep you from doing a lot of things. So, that might stop you from exercising. That might stop you from doing yoga. That might stop you from doing anything that's going to raise your vibration. Okay, any way that they can find to, to lower your vibration. When somebody has a skin problem, normally they have it on the face. Okay, and what do you do every day? You look in the mirror, lowers your vibration. Oh, it's still there. Still got these zits, still got these droopy, droopy eyes. It's, it's, it's designed to lower your vibration. That's, that's how it works. Okay, uh, let's do one more for Joe. Let's see what comes up. I'm getting told to do one more. What problem now within Joe, please? And the problem is, okay, now within, within the spasm is vortex of, vortex of, mm -hmm. Okay, within the back spasm, within the muscle spasm, vortex of spells false. Vortex of spells within the muscle spasm false. Now you got to remove the vortex because it's like a it's like a an ongoing thing when you remove one spell, another one comes in. So you got to remove the vortex. Vortex of spells from Joe's muscle spasm. False. Release the vortex of spells. Quanta, please remove the vortex of spells. Boom. Spells are lifted. Okay. How does that feel now, my friend? It's good. Thank you. Rock and roll. All righty. Awesome, Cheers. Joe. Cheers. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Th thanks for playing. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I owe you a cocktail for showing up with the same problem I had. So I got the <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. I owe you one. You're, you're in the area. So, all righty. Yeah, so, let's, let's do it. Cool. And I know, well, Chris likes to have a beer. You can join us. Chris can have a beer. I, I have a cocktail. Chris has a beer. All right. Um, next up will be Shannon. Shannon, welcome to Off Planet Radio. You're with Chris Kaler. Hi. Thanks. How are you, my dear? Good. How are you? I'm absolutely perfect. I'm feeling blissed out already. <laughs> <laughs> How can we help you, my dear? I uh, I have two problems. Well, but I have a I'm hyperthyroid, but that's on its way out. It's already healing pretty nicely. But I have a fluid-filled tumor in my left breast that's really annoying. Okay. Okay. So so it's it's not cancerous. I 
not been to a doctor. I have been told in my dreams to not do that. And my dreams have been very good about telling me my body says it's, it's uh, out of place, but benign, literally is what it says. Okay. So, so, so uh, is, is it exposed? Can you see it or is it internal? It's exposed. Okay. About the size of a fist, smaller than that? An avocado. Avocado. Okay. Funny you should pick something healthy. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, so how long has it been there? Two years. Two years. And it's not getting any bigger. It's not changing color or nothing like that. It has remained stable for a while. When okay. it first came in, it wasn't avocado sized, but it's, it's expanded since Th then. Does it float around? Does it move at all? Uh, no. It's okay. right on the skin, so it can't go anywhere. I see. It's right on the skin. Okay, it's not under the skin. It's on the skin? It's, yeah, it's under the skin. Yeah, right. It's right there, like attached to the skin. It can't go anywhere. Okay, very good. Okay, so, so uh, is it soft or hard? Hard. Okay. Let's see. What problem within Shannon, please? And of course, what is this doing? It's lowering your vibration. Mm -hmm. What problem within Shannon? Problem is true. Mm -hmm. Okay, they want us to tell me something very important here. It is, it is. Okay, so it's not cancer, but not cancer within the tumor is, within the tumor is the RNA of so you got some RNA, uh, reptilian RNA within the tumor. So we're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that. All right. Within Shannon's tumor, reptilian RNA, false. Quanta, please remove the reptilian RNA from the tumor. Reptilian RNA, false. Within Shannon's tumor. Reptilian RNA false. Reptilian RNA false. Now the reason we're using RNA instead of DNA, the DNA is what you give to your kids when you have kids. The RNA is your own personal encoding. Let's end Shannon's tumor. Reptilian RNA false. Reptilian RNA false. And the longer it takes to clear, the more is there. So this is really working hard. And Shannon's tumor, reptilian RNA false. Reptilian RNA false. Reptilian RNA False. Wow. My goodness, this is fight. This is fighting hard. In the tumor, reptilian RNA. False. What are you feeling, Shannon? I can feel a gathering of energy in that area, like it's uh, tightening up. Okay. Quanta, please remove the reptilian RNA from the tumor. Wow, this is like almost ready to knock me off my chair. Beautiful. There we go. That's lifted out. Okay, now, within the entire breast area, RNA source true. RNA source true. There's so many genomes and encoding within there. We're just going to give it to source and let source sort it out. The RNA within the breast, source, true. Source, true. Okay, that is now moving. How's it feeling, dear? It's itching. 
itching? Okay, things are moving. Things, things are <laughs> okay, now we're gonna go back over here. What question? Optimal, please, for Shannon. Question is optimal for Shannon. Emily, I'm trying to teach my cats how to use a toilet instead of a litter box. Oh, my, my friend Emily used to do that. It was the weird, like, I went over to her house once, like, I, I was staying with her, and I, I, I used to live in Austin. When I went back to visit, I was staying with her, and she worked in a bar. She gave me the key to go to her house so I could go there before she got off work. And I go in there, and a the cat is sitting on the toilet pissing, and I was like, what? I, I thought I was tripping, dude. She had trained them to do that. Yeah, I wish I would have trained my cat to do it. I mean. So far, they're not doing very good. I stepped in some poop this morning. <laughs> Okay, where is the most resistance within Shannon? See what I did there is I distracted the entity, okay? Where is the most resistance within Shannon? Where is the most resistance, okay. What is causing resistance within the breast? The skin of the breast, what is causing resistance. So it's not in the lymph. It's just with the, under the skin. I just heard the kitty. That's, that's, that's your right kitty. Mm -hmm. Well, my oh. kitty's here too. I, I don't know where she is right now, but she, she, surfaces, she surfaces sometimes during the show. Usually when I do a show with Robert, the cat's well, all the Yeah, we got these cats. They're, they're purebred, um, purebred uh, Siberian forest cats. Wow. Price we paid for them. They better shit and dance on that toilet for me. <laughs> How many do you have? Two. Okay, what is causing resistance in the breast? Okay, so what we're going to do now, oh, hold on, now we're going somewhere else. Okay, here we go, perfect. See, we can just assume to do something, but you don't want to do that. You want source to tell you exactly what to do. Where is causing resistance in the breast? Okay, now, so of course that tumor is something. And what it's showing me here, it's called AVM, arterial venous malformation. So it's a big clump of, of uh, little veins, arteries, and capillaries. Okay, here we go. Within the breast, all arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Quanta, please remove the, all of the arterial venous malformations within the breast. Arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Beautiful. How's that feeling, my dear? Feels weird. It feels like it's trying to crawl out. Beautiful. Let's do it one more time. Quanta, please remove all the arterial venous malformations within the breast. Arterial venous malformations, false. Arterial venous malformations, false. Beautiful. Okay, now, the entire breast area, true. All veins, arteries, capillaries, and blood vessels, true. Veins, arteries, blood vessels, and capillaries, true. Veins, arteries, blood vessels, and capillaries. So what that means is that they're going to start to reconfigure and go back to the way they're supposed to be. Okay. Now that reptilian DNA has got all of these things that don't quite mesh 
with, with our human body. So it's going to create this anomaly of, of, of a disfigurement of whatever in order to, to, to survive in there. So, so now, of course, your human in, immune system is going to be trying to fight this reptilian DNA, RNA, and it's going to create its own problems along the way. So all these things are in the way. So, so number one, the reptilian stuff is gone. Now we've told your body to recreate the, the veins and arteries to go back to normal to facilitate the healing. So, so now, now, of course, everybody does their own types of healing. What you can do as a mantra is just keep on saying, our veins and arteries, capillaries, and blood vessels within the breast, source true. True, source true. Very strong words. Extremely strong words. How's All it right. feeling? I feels like a kind of a I feel a band of warmth around the whole area. Uh, it's a pleasant feeling. Good. Okay. Now, if you want to go a little further with that, now you've heard me use the word quanta. Again, yeah. the quanta is is here to help us. It, we if we have quanta in our bodies, it's not going to do anything until you ask it to do something. So you can say quanta. All of my veins, arteries, capillaries, and blood vessels in the breast true simple as that. Now, if you had some of my little energy rings, it would enhance the vibrations. It would bring you, there we go, Emily's. Emily's and they're the actually the perfect size to just, you could also, you know what I mean, to even use in that area of your body. And they're available on your website? They're available on my website. Uh, a set of them is 120 bucks and you can use them on anything. I've used these like for, I've, I've had this one for about five years now. This one for probably three. I, I've used them for tons of stuff. I use them on myself. I use them to do remote healings on my friends and family, even when they're in other states and things like that. I use them to clear energies in the room. Sometimes I sleep with them in the bed with me if I'm having issues with being pulled out and whatever, and they really help. They're really great. Best 120 bucks I ever spent. <laughs> Unless you lose them. Then it's the best 120 bucks you ever lost. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, in all reality, the, all the tools that I carry, they're all on my website. The, they, they all got their own purpose. The, this is called a Vesica Pisces. I'm getting that one next. Yeah. The pyramid. Yeah. Um, this facilitates the, 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 the divine feminine energies that we're now working with um, uh, in, in this, in this new, uh, new root race and this new energy. I went from using straight pyramids to this, to uh, a chestahedron, to all different types of things to facilitate when we were making movements into this new uh, new era of energy and uh, it's now brought me to this now this is what I have to use uh, uh, on here oh, I hate this camera I don't like this camera this is called Mondolite that's the world's rarest crystal this is um, the only re reason it's so rare is because there's only one place that they found it on a mountain in the Sahara Desert and nobody can get a permit to mine it but I, I, I got some uh, and shared them with some people uh, this piece cost me like 300 bucks Okay, and so, so this works very well with the soul. And we work a lot within the soul, the soul self within people. And then I mount another sun ring on there to give it a little kick of energy, okay? Is that, two, is that two different tools? Is it a vesica Pisces and a pyramid put together or is it one tool? The, 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 the whole thing together facilitates vesica Pisces. Okay, so, okay, gotcha. Yeah, so, yeah. okay. And then the, these are only 280 bucks on my website and you can do so much of these things. You and that's, your, so that's the, 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 con, the, the football shaped thing with the pyramid around it is 280. Okay. Yes. Yes. The, all these tools, all you have to do is put will and intent into them and it'll take that will and intent and say, okay, let's do that. It, it, it attaches to that quanta energy. Mm -hmm. It's all connected to it. And then it facilitates the healing. It'll, it'll do whatever you want it to do as long as it needs to be done in the right time. That's why we douse, is, is to know what to do, when to do it, where to do it, and then we move the energy through the tools, and that's what facilitates everything. I just wanted to share something real fast. I thought that, that was one of the more interesting things that's ever come up on any of these healing shows with, you know, with Shannon just now. I had a friend several years back tell me of a disturbing dream or memory she had, and you know she's kind of like us and with some of the same issues. She had this disturbing dream or memory of like all these little reptile babies feeding off of her. And Shannon, it just made me think of that, right? Like some, you know, some of their genetic material getting into you and yes. vice versa. And I was like, wow, that, I just it brought that to mind really quickly. So yeah, the reptilian thing is a very big in, in my practice. Everything revolves around getting rid of those energies, those reptilian energies is, is, is huge, huge, huge. 
All right, yeah. lovely Miss Judy. Right before we start with Judy, Chris, this I want to put. I, I really, I'm so glad Judy got, got back to me and got in on this one. So many of us in the sort of our group of alternative, com, you know, shows and communities here, we all love Judy, and she participates and supports everybody. And Judy's had plenty of health troubles, and so I'm so delighted that we get to offer her this. So hit it out of the park, Chris. No pressure. All right. <laughs> Never. Hey, Judy, go ahead. What can we do for you today? Uh, since I have an appointment with you later in March. I will leave some of the heavier stuff to even mention there. But obviously, I have a breathing issue. Okay. And I've been renting this little house I'm in for about two years. I feel rather stuck here for several reasons. It is also a long story. But I have trouble here having a good, strong stream of urine. I can go see my kids. I can go see my family. I can go visit my brother. And it's nice, strong kidney stream again. I come back home the minute I get in here, it mm. shuts down. And that is an issue. Okay. Now, the, the breathing issues, does that correlate with, with the urinary issues? No, it didn't. This is since I have moved into this house. So it's something here. There's something that does not feel healthy here. I have skin issues here that I didn't have. You know, okay. Okay. Uh, John, now, very, very often, I end up working on somebody's house because the, the house does have its own soul. The house has its own personality, right. okay? And spirits are bound. I can tell you story after story about my late wife coming to visit all the time, knocking things off the walls and turning dolls around in her old china cabinet and stuff like that. It happens, it exists, and it is generally something I end up having to work on so somebody doesn't have to pack up and move and sell their house. Well, so tie that. I that because I would say I also quite likely have some discarnates hanging around okay. and something I'm just having trouble releasing to move forward in healing. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, let's see. What problem do we need to work on within the lovely Judy, please? What problem? What problem? The problem is true. Okay, the soul of the house is, is, soul of the house is, okay, is, okay. now the, the soul of the house, true, source, true, the soul self of the house, true, source, true. True, source, true. There's probably some portals or stargates or something within there. The soul self of the house, true, source, true. True, source, true. The soul self of the house, true, Source, true, beautiful. That soul of the house is now given to source. And what problem now for Judy, please? The problem is, okay, there is witchcraft spells of, okay, hold on, more so. And, okay, within the soul self of the house, any and all reptilians and reptilian portals, false. Quanta, please, close, condemn, collapse all reptilian portals and stargates within the soul of the house. Reptilian portals, stargates within the soul of the house, false. Close, condemn, collapse any and all portals. These are all portals to Saturn. In the soul of the house, portals to Saturn, false. Portals to Saturn, false. Okay, those are closing up. How does the house feel now, Judy? When you started that little about half a minute ago, I felt a sudden just 
ease all through my chest area. It was just beautiful, amazing. beautiful. Now, the beautiful thing about this work is that there's a lot of people who talk about this. We talk about it, and when we do the clearings, you feel something happening. You, you get a result. So that it, it confirms all of this crazy sounding stuff. That's what I love about it. You know, David Icke talks a great story. I love him. He's, he's right on with things. But it's just a story and a presentation. David Wilcock, Corey, all these guys, they, they talk about it really well. And they have a good story to tell. But it, it's left there. We go that step further and actually remove this energy so that you can benefit from the, from, uh, uh, the, the clearing. All right, now, uh, let's do this. What question is optimal, please, for Judy? Question is optimal for Miss Judy. Miss Judy and or the house. Okay, okay. Now, so, what question is optimal? I'm reaching near the end of my open window right now, but uh, we'll, we'll get it, we'll get it. Question is optimal. There's some very big energy shifting happening tonight, so I need to stop by by eight o'clock anyway, so that's good. Mm -hmm. Source is gonna go do some stuff. Okay, now what area is obstructed? Where is obstruction? Obstruction within the urinary system is from reptilians trauma. Okay, within the urinary system, within the kidneys, the ureters, the urethra, all reptilian trauma falls. Lift all of the trauma. Lift all of the trauma. Trauma falls. Within the entire urinary system, Judy's entire urinary system, reptilian trauma false. Now what this does is when you're at home, you know this is going to happen. So it builds a little bit of anxiety, right? Yeah. And that's when they feed. They feed off of that energy, that anxiety, that fear, that depression. They feed off of all that. You lower your vibration, the more they feed. In Judy's urinary system, trauma False. Now, within the entire house, trauma false. Within the house, trauma is lifted down to Judy's entire house and urinary system. Love true. Love true. Whenever there's trauma, you add love and boom, just hurts things right on up. What are you feeling, my dear? Oh, a lot of tingling going on. <laughs> <laughs> they call I me mean, Dr. Green. Down to my toes. Beautiful. I want to cry big time. Beautiful. That in itself is going to do your world of good, okay? That is going to do your world of good right there. So, so, so the other problems, we'll, we'll, in March, we'll certainly get to those. And, yeah, you know, we'll, we'll get to that. Beautiful. That's not too far away, my dear. Now, anybody who's watching, okay, we're doing this wonderful work through Source. And it, you, you, right now you're like, how do I get in? Where do I get in? Okay. No, number one, I am booked until, until August. Um, when, if you watch my schedule on my website, it's an automated scheduling system. When somebody cancels, you're welcome to jump in on that cancellation. I don't use a cancellation list, but I have to hire somebody to, to man it and the reason that my prices are so low at $80 Canadian is because nobody works for me. I do it all myself. I don't have to pay anybody. I work in my basement. I don't have to pay any rent. It's all, there's, there's no overhead at all. So, so that's how I can keep my prices nice and low so everybody can benefit. But please don't ask for a session ahead of time because it's, it's impossible, almost impossible for me to find something 
again, I'd have to hire somebody, okay? Certain people, yes. If, if, if you're working with me a lot and you need one right now, we'll do something for you, okay? I'm not going to leave you out in the cold. Num number two is, is that because this is a system that I sell and I train people to do this, right now there's about five or six practitioners doing this work out of their own uh, uh, clinics helping people. So if you go onto to, uh, the, the Google website, Google site, uh, and just search for true quantum healing, you'll find a list of practitioners. There's uh, uh, Taya Nora in, uh, in California, in Green Valley. Uh, there's uh, uh, Ho Jose Farina in Portugal, uh, Chris Fabish uh, in, in New Zealand, and there's a couple more in New Zealand that, that came up, uh, Sue and her husband. Uh, there's somebody in Hawaii, Croatia, there's somebody. Um, and, and then now in London, England, we got two people that are doing the course so that they can help everybody. So we've got everybody worldwide uh, taking this course and helping people. So go on to True Quantum Healing, do a Google search on that, and you'll get a list of, of all the other practitioners that you can uh, access. And they do basically the same thing. They do things a little differently, but it ultimately it has the same result, okay? Cool. I was just going to say some of that stuff for you, but you went ahead and did it. So awesome. <laughs> All right. So I want to, uh, we're finishing up here the, the first hour of the healing hour. I want to thank our participants, uh, Donna, uh, Joe, Shannon, and Judy. And thank you, Chris, for gracing us all. with. How's the, the back feeling right now, Joe? Is it still good? <laughs> I was going to say, can I jump in? I just cannot believe how I'm feeling right now. Because uh, it always felt like somebody was jabbing me in the lower back, just like a real chronic sharp pain. It's nothing right now. Just absolutely nothing. Bless you. Yeah, so thank you very much. My pleasure. <laughs> All yeah. right, guys. So uh, Chris, why don't you tell people where they can find you? Website is chriskaler.net, not .com. That guy's a little crazy. chriskaler.net. And I'm all over the internet. I've got my YouTube channel, Facebook. It's all there to, to access. Yeah, the, the other Chris Kaler is a little crazy. You're a lot crazy. Make sure you get the real <laughs> deal. All right, guys. We will see you on the other side over in the Patrons Hour. And for those of you leaving us on YouTube, we'll see you next time. I love everybody. Love you all. This is Off Planet Radio.